Welcome back to Off Grid Roadrunner Ranch. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, do us a favor if you like our content, please comment, like, and subscribe. All right, so this week, what we are doing is doing a pressure test for our plumbing system. And as you can see that little hose going into the little pipe there, it's filling up water into the system. I'm over there looking to make sure it gets down in there and see where, so I can cap it off. That's me finishing it off. And now we're just waiting until the next day. Now, it's the next day. The uh, inspectors here, we're just going over the plans. We're talking about uh, what we can do, you know, on the concrete. We're I'm what, asking him questions about the rebar and some other things that I had some issues with. He was a very helpful gentleman. Uh, can't say enough. They're really friendly where we're at. Okay, so now what we got going on is we're actually burying a portion of our, our footing again. Now it's kind of backwards, but hold on and let me explain what's going on here. We are going to backfill it so I can drive a track or trailer in there and dump off a bunch of rock and stuff so we can uh, put some chat down in the center and level it all out before we do our concrete. If you could, um, we need to put a layer of soft over it with no big rock so if you can grab some and then sprinkle it in there and I'll get rid of any of the rocks and kind of smooth it out and then once we get like a couple inches above it we just fucking doze it in there or whatever whatever it comes from. All right, so what we're doing here is we're putting dirt in here and I'm taking the big rocks out and then we're packing around the pipe so we can bury all the pipes in the little pad before we put down the chat. So that's kind of what's going on here. We like all kind of comments, good comments, bad comments. Tell us some stuff that we don't even know. But if you could just like and subscribe, that will really help us out a lot. And um, we will be continuing this. I'll let you know the progress. So we are making it nice and smooth, you know, bearing and everything. And then I think tomorrow we go get gravel, rock, Yes, y'all, rock. I'm like, why do we need rock and we got rock all out here? What kind of rock you need? But we got to get some special kind of rock so we can lay it all down and then um, hopefully, you know, concrete is next. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know what's going on. There's Richard over there. And then Uncle Joe is helping us. He's always a trooper to help us. Thank you for your time and your help, Uncle Joe. I feel no dirt on it. Hopefully it's not slipping. Oh, it's a little dry, maybe. Yeah, it should go on dry. Let's try um, some sandpaper. Clean huh? Got to clean it up a little bit. Look at her. She just sit here and watch the show. Watch us work. Slip one's not so slippery right now. <laughs> it's no 
That was good. Shit. You know what I'm gonna do? Ugh. I'm gonna push this in and then just couple it. That'll be better. I'll have to use this one because it's all I got. But, uh, what do you need? I got everything right here. Just gotta mark this. Oh, yeah, dookie water. Sweet. <laughs> it's always good when you get the dookie water. Okay, so what we're doing here is, if you don't understand, is basically what we're doing is we're reconnecting the sewer back up to our septic tank. And the reason why we had to do that is we had to cap off the septic, the pipe to do our pressure test. Why was it so hard, Richard? I think the pipe, because it's been underground for six months. I think what happened maybe is the weight. But, uh, all along just a tiny bit. So as I try to put that coupler on right about here, <laughs> it just said, you know, there you go. No slippy slippy here. Not today. So we just pushed that back in there. That was the original plan. I just pushed that back and then we're gonna pull it back this way when we do it. So we just gotta fix that part, right? Yeah. Ain't no thing but the chicken wine. Hey y'all, so I'm at my friend house and look like she about to restore this old trailer she have. She have, I think about five acres too. This is pretty cool. Okay, girl. Dang. You really about to hook it up. Wow. But they're doing the container life, as you guys can see. They have some containers, got the solar panels. They are officially off grid, living here full time. But we can get some flooring, fix the, you know, I'm always coming up on some flooring. Some flooring, and then we could put the seal on top of the roof after we fix it. No, I mean, this part has to be pulled out, ripped out. This whole ceiling. Oh, okay. Off grid life. It's that off grid life. Hey. <laughs> she live out here full time, y'all. Full time. She doing it. Man. She be pushing me to do it. Man, she do. She do. I, I came a long way, though. I came a long motherfucking way. You can't tell me I did it, man. <laughs> And I'm out here in the woods and shit. Remember, I didn't want to get out the car. Get out of the car. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, let's go explore. Uh -uh. Right yeah, I'm like, she was like, you don't want to get out? I'm like, no. And she used to respect me. She used to leave me alone. She didn't pressure me. But man, I came a long ass way. Progress, man. If you really want it, man, you got to change. You got to change up in here mentally, for sure. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. If you could please like and subscribe, that will help us out a lot. Thank you.